Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Bugs Coins. And we have some more reviews to do with you today. I apologise for the fan being on but it is rather warm in my place where I'm doing this particular review. I have a coin here. We were told last year that there would be three years of one particular set of coins. They're celebrating the 95th birthday of the character concerned. And the character concerned is if I bring this in. There we go. It's Pooh. Now Winnie the Pooh last year had Winnie the Pooh, Piglet and what was the other one? Christopher Robin as the three coins. Now I predicted earlier on this year I asked via a video for people to give me what they thought this year's coins would be. I must admit I didn't expect them to be this late out in the year. It's now September but such is life. My particular ones, my particular choices were that I thought for all three years, a bit like the Beatrix Potter range of coins, that there would be a poo coin for each year. And it turns out apparently that I'm going to be right, except first year it's really the poo by himself, and this year it's poo and friends. And that gives you a full set of Winnie the Pooh's friends. Which is Owl. You've got Owl on there. You've got uh, Badger uh, Owl. You've got Eeyore, I think. Let me just get the... There's Owl, there's Roo, there's Tigger. Christopher Robin, Eeyore, Piglet, and there's a bunny, a rabbit. I also said that my, as well as the two Pooh Bear and Friends coins, or the Pooh Bear coins, there would be, the four others would be Eeyore, uh, Tigger, Roo, and then either Owl himself, Owl, or the, the outside of my choices would have been E.E. E. Milne who was the creator. I'm not sure we're going to get an E.E. E. Milne coin now, having seen this year's, because we've got Owl and Eeyore are going to be the other two, uh, Owl and Tigger are going to be the other two coins this year. The one that we have here, the 50p bunk blue card, I ordered three of these. Uh, one will go in my blue card album. One will be cut out of this blue card and put into a cardboard uh, flip and will go into my main album. And the third one will be a spare coin that I can use if necessary for swaps or what have you. Late, either swaps or uh, as prizes later on sometime in the future. This one is the first one with his friends on it. Yeah, as I said, you have, uh, from what I can see, I think you've got them uh, all meeting up in a glen, and you've got Pooh on this side with Owl. I think it's Roo. You've got Roo, Roo Rabbit and Piglet, I think, as well, on this coin. Let's have a look. It, it's not very clear. It, this silver bunk by itself is not a clear coin to be able to see them on. You can see them more clearly on the coloured bunk, which I'm about to show you in a second. Now, as with a lot of these others, let me just you a bit of width on that. 
This first one here is Winnie the Pooh and Friends and it gives you them at a tea party. You have most of the ca characters we all know. There is uh, Christopher Robin, Piglet, Eeyore, Pooh, Kanga and Roo and the rabbit. I can't see Tigger on there at all, which is a shame. But with these bunk packs, these kind of bunk packs, you do get like a 3D panorama. Let's just get that out of there so you can see it. It opens out and you've got the 3D with Poo, with Poo, Rabbit, Kanga, Piglet. That looks like a fox. It tells you on the inside pouch here or the inside leaf here, 95 years of friendship. So it is the 95th anniversary of Winnie the Pooh coming about that this set of coins is celebrating. There's a bit of information there about the 100 acre wood and as with most Winnie the Pooh tea parties it's time for cake. And on the back you have the specifications of the coin, which we all know. It's 8, eight grams, 27.3 millimetres, it's a 50p coin, it's brilliantly uncirculated, it's cupra nickel. The obverse designer is Jody Clark, and the reverse designer is the Walt Disney Company. Now, yep, yeah, there you go. Let's get let's, so you can see the coin itself properly. There we go. There's the obverse side, it's the Jody Clark portrait with 2021, and this is the reverse side, the coloured bunk part of it. Can we get in a bit closer without losing the definition? No, we can't much closer, unfortunately. We can't get much closer without losing the definition or the sharpness. But you've got a colour coin. This is probably more colour than has been on any, any other coin recently. And it shows Pooh with a set of his friends in a, on a grassy area. You have you have Pooh Bear on the right, Owl. Eeyore, I think, is next. Then there's Roo. And Rabbit, I think, as well. I can't see all of the characters that clearly. There's a lot of characters within that coin going across. And it is a bit it's it's a bit crowded. The scene is. They try to jam too. In my opinion, they try to jam too many characters from the book in this coin. Don't forget, if I'm right, and I think I am going to be right, the um, next year we'll have another poo coin. Why not split this up a little bit and have two or three of his friends here and then next year have two or three different ones instead of trying to crowd them all onto one coin because you lose, you lose some of the impact of the coin because you're screwing your eyes up trying to make out what the characters are, in my opinion. I may be wrong, other people may think differently. And the other thing I do slightly object to it's a British coin, so why has the Disney Corporation been allowed to put their logo on? I find that a bit, you know, are the Royal Mint being paid a lot of money by Disney to use their own logo and their own design team uh, to bring out these coins? And if so, should the Royal Mint be allowed to give Disney free advertisement in effect? It's, um, seeing as none of our other coins are sponsored, 
as this set seems to be. I'm a little bit disappointed in the mint, to be honest. Um, if Disney would have turned around and said, sorry, you can't have the rights to do them, the Royal Mint said, they have sod off then, we won't produce the set. We've got other ones that we can do. That won't give us the problem. You know, you've got the Enid Blyton set of coins, and one of the reasons why the Enid Blyton couldn't be used apparently was that many years ago, when the political situation was far more, was far different to what it is today, she said a couple of things that wouldn't perhaps be accepted in today's society, and I'm sure she wouldn't have said them in today's society. But, you know, I do object slightly to the Royal Mint giving free advertising to Disney Corporation. I don't think it's, it's correct and it shouldn't be done. There you go, I've had my little moan. Uh, and I dare say I'll have the moan again in, on the next two coins in the series. That really ends this review. Yes, the coin is reasonable. It's always nice to see new 50p's rather than constantly £5 coins. It's nice to see coloured versions of coins. But there's just too much here. It's too crowded. You can't easily make out who the characters are. I'm sorry, but this isn't as good as... This is not as good as it should have been. It should have been that if you want to put characters on the coins and you want to include them on the coins, you've got another Pooh and Friends coin next year. Split them up. Put half on this coin, half on the next coin. There's no Tigger on this one. There's no that I can see. So, who knows? I'm going to end the review there before I sort of go off too much on a tangent and say, yeah, I'm a coin collector so it's nice to have it in my set. Could it be improved? I think it could have been. Please use the comments field below to tell me what you think. Am I being unfair on the Royal Mint? Am I being unfair on Disney? Um, put your feelings below. I'll be interested to hear them. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one, and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, I hope you can find them for the price you want to pay. If you've already subscribed to this channel, thank you. If you haven't, please think about subscribing. I would very much like to have you along for the rest of my journey through coins, notes and tokens, etc. And if you've liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. As liking and subscribing to the channel helps me expand the channel and make it better. And until we meet again on this channel, bye bye for now. Ta-da!